We'd like to welcome Dustin Johnson to the Media Center here at the 2022 Farmers Insurance Open. We're just saying it's been a long time since we've done, done uh, in-person interviews, Dustin, so it's a little different. For back me, to, it's been a while. Back to normal. It's the second one for a while. So um, this is your second start of the season. You've played once uh, at the CJ Cup. Um, just Can you just talk about... Um, playing here and what's your decision in coming to the farmers this week um well this year you know the schedule obviously the schedule is a little bit different so um it worked out where it fit in the schedule nicely um i like you know i like this tournament just the last few years it's um you know i just haven't been able to play just due to scheduling but um and especially i really like it when the weather's like this you know the last few times i played here was some of the worst weather i think i've ever played in um and it's not a fun course to play in bad weather. It's hard enough, you know, with perfect weather like we have right now. Uh, but, yeah, the course is in great shape. Um, you know, played the north course yesterday, and then I'm going to play the south today. But, you know, obviously games games coming along. I'm, I'm hitting a little better than I, I thought I might. But, you know, it's still got some – obviously still got a lot of work to do to, you know, to get back to – to where I want to be. And that was I was going to ask you, since you've only played the, you know, I guess it was a few months ago, a tournament, I'm sure you've played golf and done some other things. But can you share with us kind of what you've done during that off season and that extended break? I probably have not played as much as you think I have. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, no, I just a lot of time was at home with the family, um, you know, some fishing, you know, pretty much anything but golf is what I did. Um, you know, last week I started hitting balls again. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been pretty good. The progression's been nicely. Um, you know, each day I see it's getting a little bit better, a little bit more consistent. So, you know, that's what I wanted. But after last year, I just I was frustrated with everything. Um, so a break was, was what I needed. And, you know, one, one thing that I was really frustrated with was with my driver. And we got a new driver this year, the new stealth driver. And it's, um, you know, I really like it. And so... That was one reason why I wasn't playing or took a break until I could, you know, get the new driver and start practicing with it. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was one of the main reasons why. Okay. And we'll take some questions and we'll start right here. Considering what you're talking about there with the offseason, taking all that time off, how much do you feel like that's going to help you now coming into this season to be able to completely reset? Was that really yeah, the mentality? That was, yeah. Absolutely. That was – Obviously, that was a point of why I took so much time off. Um, you know, it's a long year, you know, especially, you know, so I think I'll get more benefit, especially when it comes down towards the end of the year when we have, you know, a lot of big tournaments all in a row, the playoffs, you know, I still feel fresh and, and rested. Um, you know, but, yeah, I just needed a reset, you know, with mind, body, everything, um, just to – you know, like I said, I was really frustrated with, with how I played last year. So, We'll go Todd, Ryan, and then back to Steve. Oh, whichever, Todd first. DJ, when you've taken this much time off and then you – it's not like you're starting at the Amex in the desert. You're coming to Torrey Pines and all the rough and the narrow fairways and all that. Is that daunting at all to, like, start here? And is that part of why you maybe haven't come in the past? Or No, I mean – it's a golf course. It's you know, it's uh I did stuff on the first hole, I think it's the first hole in the north on Sunday afternoon when I got here and I'm like, Whoa, this fairway's narrow. <laughs> I mean well I've been playing at home in Florida, the fairway's a little bit wider. I'm like a little like I was, you know, hitting down a hallway, but uh, you know, it's still it's nice and too it's it's gonna be a it's a really good spot for me to know what, you know, what kind of shape my game's in. Um, you know, whether I play well or not, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, the game is, it's there. You know, just, you know, obviously the consistency is what I, I'm going to need to, and two, it usually takes a little bit of time to get yeah. back into it, which which I'm definitely prepared for. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a great test of golf. So, you know, for me, I'm excited to see where the game's at. I feel like, like I said, each day's getting a little bit better. And, you know, I feel like I'm swinging really well. You know, I'm just – I got to spend a lot of time around the greens just getting my touch back with chipping and putting. Yeah. You mentioned getting here on Sunday and playing. How has the schedule been for you? And, you know, you're coming off this big break. But for a Wednesday through Saturday, 
tournament. How kind of strange is that to get your head around or not? I mean, it's not. It's just days. We play four days. It doesn't matter what day we start. Um, especially I wasn't playing last week, so it wasn't like I was on a short turnaround or anything. So, um, you know, and plus I've played here. You know, I've played the course quite a few times, so it's not like I'm coming to a new venue either. Um, like I said, I was I didn't play the week before, so you know I was able to travel you know travel on Sunday and get here you know got here lunchtime on on Sunday. So um, for me, it's yeah just normal. It's just di- it starts on a different day. Go ahead, Brian. Justin, you kind of joked about only hitting balls last week, but you know you're getting into your 30s now. It's kind of like Groundhog Day. You go to the same tournaments in the same places over the last 15 years. Do you find it at all hard to get up for tournaments like you used to, especially the non-majors? No, I don't. I mean, every week to me is very important. Um, You know, like I've always said, I mean, I prepare, you know, going into, doesn't matter what tournament it is, I I prepare the same way as I do, whether it's the Masters or whether it's the Farmers. Um, I don't prepare any different. And, you know, they're all big tournaments to me. Go Steve in the back and then Dylan. Dustin, you don't usually display your emotions to the public, but how frustrating was last year? I mean, it wasn't that bad, but, <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it, it just wasn't – it was frustrating to me um, just because, you know, I, I just wasn't consistent. You know, I, obviously I put a lot of good rounds together, but I just couldn't put four rounds together, and it felt like – if I was hitting the driver good, I wasn't hitting my irons very well. If I was hitting my irons really well, I wasn't driving it good. So, you know, I just, just nothing was matching up. And it just gets frustrating when you do it for, you know, eight months straight. We've got Dylan and then Sean. Especially, especially after the, like, the fall I had the year before. It was really frustrating. Go ahead, Dylan. We were talking to Brooks yesterday and asked him if there was anyone whose mindset he admired, and, and he listed you as someone. And I was just curious if there's anyone whose mindset you admire or, or that you've borrowed from just from the way that they approach the game. Hmm. We'll get back to you on that one. Sounds good. Sure. When you say you played very little, how little are we talking? A couple times. Uh, and what was frustrating about the, the driver, and then what have you seen with the new one? I mean, I, I, it just wasn't going where I wanted it to. There wasn't, you know, there wasn't anything wrong with the driver, but just for me, it just wasn't. Ma- I couldn't get it, couldn't get it to match up to, you know, the shots I wanted to hit. Anything else? You want to get back to Dylan and wait for another yeah, day? Yeah, no. <laughs> just let me think about it for a second. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, no, I mean, I once I hit the new driver, everything was good. It was just, you know, something. I don't know if it was the waiting or whatever it was, and the, just really struggled to get one to, you know, that I really liked, or that produced the shots that I wanted to hit. Did it feel good right away? How long yeah. Did it you the first one that it gave me. Okay, we got a couple more questions. Go, Dylan, yeah. first. I'll give you an easier one. All right, if you're, you know, whatever you are. I know, I've had to take this much in a while, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever handicap you are as a golfer, plus six or eight or whatever, what are you as a skier and as a fisherman? Um, let's see. Let's say I'm scratch. At both? Maybe a one at skiing and a fishing is all, <laughs> I mean, it's fishing. It's not catching. So <laughs> some days I'm a plus six. Some days I'm a 18. You know, it just all depends. Thank you. And one I, I, last one. Before I mean, DJ, I know you're a relaxed guy. How, how important is it for you to kind of have that comfort level of, of being relaxed on a golf course coming off an off season and taking a break, maybe as opposed to when you're out there trying to grind and things just aren't going quite your way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely important. Obviously, you know, golf is a lot, a lot of, of it's mental. You know, people say what, I don't know, 
you know, who knows how much it is or I don't know how you'd ever measure that, but um, it's definitely very mental. And if, you know, if your mindset's in the right, right spot, especially for me, I'm going to play well. Um, you know, it's just, like you said, when you're struggling or when you're trying to grind or when you're trying to do too much, it's a very difficult game. But, you know, when you're relaxed, you're confident in, in what you're doing. And, you know, like you said, you're in the right headspace. And, you know, sometimes the game comes fairly easy. Just one last one to wrap it up with Ron. Can we go to go? Dustin, you're one of the players who signed up to participate in the Netflix documentary. What are you hoping fans get from your appearance in that? And, and how open are you planning to be with them? We'll have to see. I haven't, haven't got too far into that yet, but... Um, I mean, you know, for me, okay, it's the same same guys that did Drive to Survive. I didn't really watch Formula One, actually, at all. And then I watched that series, and now I'm hooked. Like, you know, I love it. I watch it every Sunday, you know. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, that's my, you know, what I think that maybe a, a fan that doesn't really follow golf, maybe they watch it and then – all right, now they're really going to want to watch golf and follow it. So hopefully it'll reach to some different viewers and we'll get a lot more, a lot more followers from it. Okay, Dustin, thanks. It worked for, for me. So. I appreciate it. Have a good week. Thank you.